What's good, Mr. 300, seeing the place to be. So for today's video, we gonna talk about getting used to your ride, man. When you have a V8, you'll always forget what it sounds like because you hear it all the time. So I'm put the windows down and I always remind myself what I have. sound like you get used to driving all the time especially when it's cold your windows are up so you know you're used to hearing that cabin sound so all you got to do is put your windows down stomp on it one good time the excitement comes back feels good feels great I was thinking too like sometimes you know you get the itch you want a lot of power and like oh I want to get a Hellcat Hellcat sounds good Obviously, the prices is ridiculous right now. It's like everything else. But then I realized, like, how do I drive my cars now? Where do I go? Like, do I drag race? Do I street race? Do I have open roads and do pulls? Do I go on the highway and do pulls? Do I just go from light to light? You know, all these different things I think about. And I'm like, sure, I want a little bit more power and I can mod this car a little bit faster. Or... I get that 6.4, do a little bit of light mods and call it a day. But then I think about like the drivability, right? We all know with Hellcats, like zero to 60 is tough to really have fun and enjoy it. They really shine for like top end speed. You know, if you're doing roll racing, or of course if you go to the track, throw a tire on it, you know, that's where the Hellcat shines. Scat Pat shines from 0 to 60. Same with the 6.1 liter. You can say the same for the 5.7 liter Hemi. But you can control the speed and you don't have to worry about like fish tailing and going into a ditch or hitting another car. Like, of course, you can really do those things in the lower trim of V8s. But there's just something practical about just getting traction from like a 6.4 or a 6.1 or even a 5.7. And all the real fun, if you think about it, it's like all the real fun's in the zero to 60 mile an hour. Like that's where you like really have fun doing stuff. Look, this thing be yanking and pulling me hard like crazy. Still, 6.1 liter, old Hemi engine still pulling, just flipping air, spark and gas. Like that's it, this thing just does what it does. I just love how simple this engine is. And that's not the part of me where I'm like, man, do I even want to change to a different engine? Like, I haven't even gotten a full, full experience with mods on the 6.1. Everything comes down to money, yo. And what your goals are, what you want to do. It's hard for me to let this car go when it's paid off 28,000 miles, 28,303 miles to be exact. And so, I just struggle with trying to be practical, still have fun, still have a Hemi, still be part of the Mopar Brotherhood. Woo! Yeah, spun tires a little bit there. Man, that's sun all in my eyeballs. But yeah, it's just stuff I keep thinking about. Like, I'm not in a rush to upgrade, I'm not in a rush to like, mod right now I'm still enjoying things and just trying to maximize what I'm willing to put into the car do with the car show a few small things I want to do I still want to get a front lip spoiler or chin spoiler whatever you want to call it I don't want the ones that have the little prongs that come out that's not the kind of look I'm going for nothing wrong with those but I just want a nice little extra little chin piece I don't know if I need to go with like an easy lip or something a little bit more sturdier with like harder plastic that goes in the front I think that's all I want to do on the exterior of the car 
and then I get ideas about like then I get it then I get ideas about like man maybe I should just wrap the car a crazy color yeah, that'd be kind of cool an older model 300 SRT8 with a wild exotic color or maybe go some dark and blendy with like I love blue blue's my favorite color you know some type of like matte blue or frostbite blue Ooh. and this light is messing up this camera but yeah it's just fun to talk about stuff like this and I love I just have options I, I just love that feeling like this car is not stressful to me everything that I need is here like it's fun it's loud it looks good I get looks from random people gas station on the road I surprise people when they hear the exhaust when I fly by them like it hits all my check boxes four doors kids can fit back here it's just the old technology that's in this car which I'm not a I like technology and I don't need it all but you know it'd be nice just to have newer stuff even if it is on like a 10 year old platform like 2015 and up I have even looked at going for the SRT 8392 the charger I was even looking at that I was like man that was my first like real real love for a V8 when I first saw those joints like I don't know when I first saw those eight years ago I was like, yo, these are so aggressive. That's still my favorite body style, the Chargers. The 2012 or 2014 SRT8s, love those. Those just look so mean to me. Now, if I had some extra money and, you know, it wasn't an issue with like interest rates and everything else in life, sure, I would just upgrade just to upgrade. But practically, there's just no point in doing it. I like to talk about it because I, I get these crazy ideas. I hopefully you guys don't think I'm just fronting all the time. I ain't fronting. I'm just being real because normal people like me, normal people in the world, they have these kind of thoughts and ideas. And it's good to share them and circulate them with other people. But yeah, that's it. I'm getting off topic. If you guys get bored of your V8, just remember, put your windows down, put your sunglasses on, and just punch on that bad boy. Put your windows down. Drop the gear a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. See? Puts a smile on your face every time. Feel that breeze hit you too. And you can imagine how loud it is behind you. So when people are, are behind you like, man, that car is flying or that car is loud. But it also attracts the wrong kind of attention. Cops can hear you, they think you're doing something crazy, even if you aren't breaking the speed limit, but just hitting pulls real fast. Or Tesla's like, oh, I'm gonna catch them. You know, Tesla's try to do that to me. And the Subaru dudes, oh. Any Subaru or like inline six, you know, it's a Nissan 350Z or, you know, even them four cylinder dudes and Miata dudes, they'd be like, oh, he got an exhaust. I'm going to go bring my fart can and blast mines. Like, <laughs> them JDM cars, man, they funny. But yeah, the Hemi demands and commands the road. People hear that rumble in that V8. Woo. People turn heads and they're like, what the flip is that? Especially coming from a 300. Very unassuming. In case, done with my rant. I can't even see because this sunlight is just killing me. Ooh, Bob and Weed, boy, Bob and Weed. Who can't box? Anyway. All right, Mr. Three Energy is out. Peace.